three quick ways to deal with candida. Now, if you're listening to this, my bet is you're probably female. Now, there's going to be some males listening to this too, but it's probably going to be about 90-10. That's because candida affects women much more than men visibly. So the, uh, my other bet is if you've got candida, you're here for two reasons. You've been a, a naturopath that said you got candida albicans. You're like, oh God, what's that? Or you got vaginal thrush or uh, th- thrush under the foreskin of your penis or, or just, just under, under your penis. Um, now, why is it there? How do we fix it? Well, I've got really fantastic news for you, and that's your genitals and your tongue are the only two places that virtually aren't covered in skin other than your eyeballs. So your genitals and your tongue are actually an accurate reflection of the amount of candida and yeast through your body and bloodstream. And I'm sorry to tell you, if you do have you know thrush and you do have this, then you've got a problem right through you. And we're, we're not going to be able to shift this with short-term me- me- measures. We shift this with lifestyle, and it's going to be a little bit uncomfortable. And certainly, there's a lot of frustration because, you know, you're worried about a sexual partner. It smells bad. I hear about women when they're bathing and can affect time of the month if there's a sexual partner that's unclean. Um, stick your tongue out in the mirror. If it's, got, if it's got white on there, you've got candida on your tongue. If it's got little red red dots and you've got bacteria on your tongue. Again, with your genitals, uh, with a man, if it's got little red dots, it can often be a bacteria, form of a virus, or if it's white, it's yeast. Now... There's a form, there's 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 a biological theory which we don't think is a theory. We believe is hard science in natural medicine called pleomorphism, and that means many forms. But that means that yeast doesn't just function as a yeast. Yeast can be a fungus. Medically, it's called a dimorphic fungus, so it can be a yeast with with one cell or a fungus with many. Uh, Pleomorphism means that we can have yeast cells in our body, but red blood cells, body cells, cells, fungus, bacteria, all come from the same uh, embryonic cell or stem cell uh, called an erythrocyte. I'm sorry that that sounds like a big mouthful of language. What I'm here to tell you is if you have yeast, the bottom line is I will get the bottom line, stop rambling. Bottom line is you're dirty, you're polluted. How do I change it? Well, you need to know, unfortunately, your body's now at a point where your body cells are morphing into yeast. That's the natural health belief. Uh, medical science, out of control, it's a living organ, it replicates. So how do you fix it? We do two things. One, the second strategy is to put things in that uh, will kill yeast. The first strategy is we stop uh, putting things in that will contribute to yeast. Now, I'm here to tell you the number one thing, and I know you don't want to hear this, but basically bacteria excrements waste product, acetylaldehyde, all these poisonous things are just, you know, it's like fecal matter in your bloodstream and, and in the food you eat. Yeast excrements, it's waste as well. It's one of the deadly, most deadly poison poisons in the world, and that's called ethanol or alcohol. But the reason you've been drinking up until now is just because you weren't educated. And the reason it felt so good to drink alcohol is it is so poisonous. It is so poisonous to your body that your body has to secrete powerful hormones to try and keep you alive until the next morning uh, where you still may be having challenges and the body tries to find the exits with vomiting and urination. And it's it's used as a mechanism to, to induce a very strong hormonal release, much the same way that masturbating with a noose around your neck can give you strong a strong release. But I have to tell you, primarily my clients are female reason being not because i'm so charming or so good looking it's because women are more conscious of how they feel uh there's a biological urge there to not want to age to to need to be able to reproduce uh to need to to have a degree of protection evolutionarily and to and to want to feel attractive and give to those around them now i see women spend thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars on beauty products if you stop drinking and smoking you could throw out all your other beauty products because you couldn't do anything better for yourself because nothing will age you faster than these two. And if you listen to me talk, I, I prattle on endlessly about how bad those two are, but they're the two leading preventable causes of death in the world across the entire planet. If you're smoking smoking or drinking, the, the, you are, you, you're doing it for two reasons. You, you're doing it to change the way you feel or you're doing it to fit in with a peer group with lower standards than you have, period. You're either doing it for yourself to change how you feel or you're doing it for other people. If you're doing it for other people, I'm here to tell you, they don't care if you get old. If you're doing it for yourself, then I'm here to tell you, I want to, as a friend, put on the table some other options you have to change how you feel. Now, things that promote uh, yeast dying in your body is to live more of an alkaline-type lifestyle, which is a fancy word for alkaline or healthy. Uh, 
I would immediately go and do your ideal health day, have an intestinal detox, have a liver detox, certainly be starting to have some chlorophyll and green powders, get in the bathtub and do some of the bathing strategies recommended on the on the website uh, in terms of putting some ginger through the pores of your skin and you're going to need to shift for a while stop smoking because smoking is cured in yeast it's actually dipped in uh, dipped in sugar and then yeast is put on there to make it more addictive with all the chemicals so treat yeast as a sign you're being unhealthy now pleomorphism is very hard to find information on about on the index it's a very rare theory but it states that it's not a rare theory it's well known but it's very uh you don't go to your average naturopath who understands some of these biological beliefs that, that natural health has been now been based on for several hundred years. They just know yeast is bad, it's there, but why? So the four stages of matter that we believe in natural health, we believe that red blood cells in your body, in your blood, become your body cells. And your own body cells morph down into a bacteria, morph down into a yeast, and then morph down in a fungus, into a fungus. So when you stick your tongue out in the mirror, if you have yeast on there, then you literally that isn't actually yeast on top of your tongue we would disagree with medical science and say that's your body cells morphing into a different living organism you're actually decomposing and it's designed that when we die what stops the yeast from proliferating is your immune system your white blood cells comes along and eats the bacteria eats the yeast eats the fungus eats the worms parasites etc now when you die your white blood cells stop working all this bacteria ferments us in into the ground so Yeast and bacteria will age you faster than nothing else. I'm here to tell you, you need to pick where you need to choose your life. Do you want cosmetic first, as in your appearance and your attractiveness? Are you going to prioritize that congruently and clearly, or are you going to prioritize something else? Because I'm here to tell you, unfortunately, it's very hard to balance both because five or ten years will arrive and you will look older and you will lose some of your choices. Now, I go use your hope oil on your skin, use some of the cosmetic products on here. I encourage you. If you trust me at all, if, if I've communicated, I'm just sitting here actually in my living room because uh, you can just use home studios now. It's very a relaxed way with the internet. But you know, I've seen, you know, tens of thousands of people from all around the world have been probably one of the, the busiest practitioners on earth. But I don't say that to impress you, but I say that, one, I know what I'm doing, but if I've hooked you at all, invest a couple of hundred bucks, get on the website and get that ultimate female pack and get the detox and the liver detox and the skin cream and the female stuff to balance your hormones you use the arsenal of free resources that are on the biomedic website that's biomedic with a k on the end not a c and i will absolutely try and add as much value to you for two reasons one my mission is to help people and two i can't get a financial return unless i try and give away you know, up to 10 times the value so get on there and uh, if i can do anything else for you i'd appreciate it if you let me know my, my name is will shannon and i appreciate you listening Bye bye